Welcome back to Big Brother 2012. I'm now joined by Connor. I mean, if I asked, said to you, could you give me one word to describe just what's happened this evening, what would it be? It would be silence. He's speechless. Yeah, I'm, Hang I, on. I, haven't, I actually haven't got an absolute clue. Who owns this £50,000? Talk us through that, because watching it out here was kind of hard to hear what you and Lucas were saying. What were you saying to each other during that? Like, he knows... He knows how much that is going to change my life. You okay. know what I mean? That'll set me up for... It's, it'll be... You don't know how much it's going to do to me. And he says he needs the money, but, listen, he's got his own house. Okay. He's got his own... He's got, like, a job going for him. He's got this. I haven't got anything. I still have my mum and dad and stuff, and it, that will change my life. Um... Do you think it will change your relationship with Lucas when he leaves the house? The fact that you've got the money and he didn't. Oh, well. Listen, he <laughs> from from the start. The, on, the only reason the only reason me and Luke were friends was because I. Me and Luke became really good friends. You know what I mean? At the start, I thought he was a part of a decade or whatever, <laughs> and then I got me and Arn. Me and Arn grew really close together. Me and Arn, me and Arn are a true true mates in, in that house. And then you've got me, Arn, and Ash, and Ash is absolutely buzzing for me. And, like, Ash is completely buzzing. I'm so happy. And she is one of my three mates in this house, and that's um, fine. And what you didn't realise was the amount was only ever going to go I knew to it was £50,000. Go. I, I honestly had that feeling in my head. I knew it was going to go And you hit 000. it right at I the last second. I knew it was going to go to £50,000. I knew it was going to go there, and I had it. Because I said to myself, and I'm, I might look like a dick or whatever, because it says that money doesn't mean anything to me, but whenever it's in front of you, and, whenever and it kind of is there. Yeah, whenever it's, whenever it's in front of you and you're sitting thinking to yourself, right, it's here, it's now, and you can take it. And to be honest, if I got to the final, I'm, I, I don't think I would have won. OK. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and can, if at the end of the day, if I did won, I would have won. You can just see on won. the screen here that Lucas visibly upset by what's just happened. Do you feel, do you feel bad about it? Be honest. Yeah, I'm got it. Okay. I am, I'm got it. Yeah, I'm got it. But at the end of the day, I'm the one with 54 jump <laughs> Quite a reaction from the crowd. Some cheers, some boos. Does that make you question your time in the house? I, I don't know. Probably with all of this going on, it's probably hard to focus. I understand yeah, it is. that. It's hard to focus, but they want to know something. I don't care. I don't care what people think about me. I came on, I'm from wherever I'm from. And as long as I'm Belfast now. No, I'm not from Belfast. Northern Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from, from Belfast. Der I'm from Derry, right? And there's not many people that even the guy at the first week, the comedian says there's not many people that walk out of Derry. And he's right, <laughs> there's not many people that walk out of Derry. And for me personally, that will change my life. And the only people that I care about and that matters to me is my mum, my dad, my family, and my girlfriend. That's all. Now, you'd one particular stormy relationship inside the house. Yeah. Check this out. All housemates have entered the house. You alone will nominate three of them. Connor. Connor didn't make enough effort to talk to me. <laughs> Being up for a nomination when you're only in the door two months. Pissed off, to be honest. He sits in that bed and listens to everything that you say. Oh, my God. No, the war started now. Don't not not yet. yet. Not so yet. next week we might have a chance yeah. to They're get them before yet. they get us. They're so next week we can... Smack it. I find her to be a very untrustworthy person, far too paranoid. She's even making me paranoid. I think I'd be a lot more comfortable in the house if he wasn't here. I'm going to say Dina. Connor, that is correct. Fucking idiot. She has a split personality and she is being fake. Caroline? The answer was Connor. Connor doesn't even know my flipping personality. But we've never even spoken to each other, so how can you know what my personality is like? It's one of them things. <laughs> He's just a nasty man. As a result of Connor's actions, the blue team have lost control of the diary room and will not be allowed to nominate this week. We've been playing it very clever from day one, trying to get everyone against me, da 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 da, da. And now it's everything that I've been thinking has been proven. I don't trust her and I haven't from day one. And, mm -hmm. I'm, and, and I never will. Don't bother talking to me. Just a nasty man, that's all you yeah. Now, I'll be honest with you, a lot of people watching the show were annoyed and offended by stuff you said yeah. about Dina. Yeah. What was it about Dina that rubbed you up the wrong way? People that I can't trust, it's just, you just, I just flush them out of the way, you know what I mean? And to be honest, you've seen it from yourself, what you've seen on TV. She's, she's not a nice person, and she, the way she... 
the way she walked about, the way she walked about and pranced about, and thinking that she was somebody, it just it wasn't for me. That that girl has got everything going for her. She's got her own business, blah blah blah. What is she doing in the big bar house? It's still, it's still no excuse for a particular rant that you said things about Dean. It was so yeah. so bad that Big Brother actually gave you a warning about yeah. it and told you to rein it in. So do you regret that and explain to us why it got to that point and you said those nasty things about her? Yeah, because it got to the stage where she was telling people that I was nominating them, you know what I mean? I was going down and telling people that I was nominating, I was getting people to nominate for Dina, which I have never done since I was in the house. So why couldn't you just take it and start and walk away? You did use extremely offensive yeah. language. I know what that, yeah. If and that was towards your girlfriend and you were watching, oh, how would you feel? Oh, I would, I would flop a lot. I would, I, I Do you regret it? Oh, 100%, 100%. I was a complete and utter mouthpiece. And whenever I says, and I said it in a day room, I hold my hands up and I, I take it as an, a complete and I apologize and I says, I didn't mean it at all. Thank what you. came out was complete anger when it was coming out of my mouth okay. and I would never see something like that. I have to stop it. There's so much going on tonight. Here are your best bits. Enjoy. <laughs> Time in here, mate. Fuck, I know I think he's really very funny. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the house, man, it's all about me. Why are you looking at me, you bastard? <laughs> People can be themselves and you can come on here and enjoy yourself and not like get caught up on all the crap, you know what I mean? I'm not interested in being people to being fake and putting a shoe on for the camera. Don't trust any of them. Too many actors on here. You don't know why they're talking to you, and you don't know what their game plan is. Fuck! Come Can fucking see what they're doing with everybody else? We're in the fucking house. Fuck me! Fuck you. Don't talk to me. It's a fucking game show! Fuck you! I really like Connor. <laughs> Like, really, really, really one of my best mates. Yes! Just go like that and go. <laughs> That's another 20, <laughs> Private Connor. Sheriff is back in town. Oh. <laughs> With Connor, you can have a bit of banter. You can stop having your back together. You can be quite boisterous. <laughs> Sort of real experience, like out of this world. Amazing. There we go. Do me a favour. Keep an eye on that, or someone will take it. Give us a handshake. Well done. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Wow! 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 I'd like to think. I hope he feels genuinely sorry for those remarks towards Dina. So. Becky is out, and so is Connor, with a whopping £50,000 of the prize money. Should he have taken the money? Should he have stayed with his housemates? What would you have done? Take it, yeah. That means there are seven left inside the Big Brother house, but how many will make it to the final? There's only one way to find out, that's by coming back here next Friday at 9 for the live semi-final. And if you'd like to be here in our audience, then go to channel5.com slash bigbrother for all the details on how to apply for those tickets. You can also keep up to date with all of the house action every night here on Channel 5. And if you want to see reaction to what's just happened, turn over to Five Star right now for live streaming. Next up here on Channel 5, it's The Bachelor. And tonight, the ladies are competing in gladiator-style games. Emma's up next with Bit on the side. Yo, yo, Emma. Hi, Brian. Can you believe it? We are doing the show from the White Room this evening. Uh, we're going to be joined by Big Brother 9's Luke Marsden, Nina Mishkoff and Caroline. Plus, I'll be giving the latest evictee a good going over. Oh, man. Rumble. Oh, Emma, you liar! I'll see you back here next Friday at 9 for the live semi-final. Will it be one housemate or two? Good night. Have a good weekend. Bang. <laughs> Just whoa. I'm still shaking from that. Oh. 
Fuck, are you laughing at? Are you laughing at? What do you mean, what am I laughing at? And? Someone got it. Becky and Connor not here. What's it going to be like? It's going to be. It's going to be quiet. I can't believe this. This has been so 